This is the most infamous missing child case in Portugal and it is still unsolved today. Memoria do Ripeta. É a memória dele. E e a minha filha. A minha filha dá-me tanta alegria. Tantas alegrias. On the afternoon of March 4th, 1998, in the quiet town of Lusada in the Porto district of Portugal, an 11-year-old boy named Rui Pedro disappeared without a trace. This is the story of a missing child, a family's relentless search for answers and a mystery that remains unsolved to this day. It was around 2 p.m. when young Rui Pedro hopped on his bicycle and pedaled to his mother's workplace, not far from the family home. Rui Pedro asked his mother, Filomena Teixeira, for permission to spend the afternoon with his 22-year-old friend, Afonso Diaz. Filomena, concerned for her son's safety, denied his request and told him to play in an abandoned lot outside her office instead. Hours later, around 5 p.m., Rui Pedro's tutor called his parents, puzzled as to why he hadn't shown up for his lesson. Frantic with worry, Filomena and her husband began searching for their son. When they couldn't find him, they called the police. Filomena informed them about Rui Pedro's earlier request to spend time with Afonso Diaz. Afonso Diaz was soon brought in for questioning. Visibly distressed, he claimed to have no knowledge of Rui Pedro's whereabouts, but suggested that the police should close the borders. As the investigation continued, a disturbing detail emerged. Rui Pedro's cousin, Joao André Mendonca, told the police that Afonso had invited them to meet a prostitute, but Rui Pedro had not gone because his mother had refused. Criticism mounted against the Portuguese police for their delayed response and lack of thoroughness in the investigation. Despite the growing public interest, reliable leads were scarce. Then, a breakthrough came when a prostitute named Alcina Diaz confirmed that Afonso had brought Rui Pedro to meet her. She stated that Afonso had paid her to have sex with the boy, who was visibly nervous and crying when he left her vehicle. According to Alcina, she tried to comfort the boy, asking if his mother knew where he was. Rui Pedro replied no. Afterward, he returned to Afonso's car and was never seen again. Filomena received numerous calls about possible sightings of her son, including one where she claimed to recognize Rui Pedro's voice before the call abruptly ended. However, the police dismissed these leads as irrelevant. The search for Rui Pedro continued to face setbacks. In April 1998, a photo taken at Euro Disney showed a boy resembling Rui Pedro in the background. Despite expert analysis, the results were inconclusive. Later that year, during an international police operation known as the Cathedral Operation, child pornography materials were seized, including images of over 1,200 different children. Among these materials, journalist Ana Leal found a black and white photo of a child showing signs of torture. The family identified the boy as Rui Pedro, but forensic analysis remained inconclusive. Years passed, and in November 2011, Afonso Diaz was finally brought to trial. Alcina Diaz identified him in court for the first time, revealing that she had tried to give her statement to the police long before, but was ignored because she couldn't name Afonso. In 2014, Afonso was convicted of corrupting a minor and sentenced to three years in prison, but he was never charged with Rui Pedro's disappearance. Filomena Teixeira has always maintained that the investigation into her son's disappearance was mishandled. She claimed that crucial leads were ignored, neighbors were never interviewed, and Afonso Diaz's car was never thoroughly examined. Filomena took matters into her own hands, contacting hospitals and traveling abroad in search of her son. When flaws in the investigation were finally acknowledged, she felt vindicated. As the case reached its 20-year mark in 2018, it became statute barred and Rui Pedro was presumed dead under Portuguese law. Despite this, his family continues to hope that he is alive, maintaining websites and contacts to gather any information. The disappearance of Rui Pedro remains one of Portugal's most haunting mysteries. His family's unwavering determination to find him is a testament to their love and hope. If you have any information that could help solve this case, please visit the websites listed below. Let's keep Rui Pedro's story alive and seek the justice he deserves.